All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to uh, Mass Effect 2. Let's get right back into the uh, the chaos. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Yeah, I don't much really care how impressed he is. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. Thanks for the help, though. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Is that a threat, Miranda? Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. That sounds a little suspect, but... I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. All right, we'll fuck you too. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Like? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. And I'm glad he didn't let you. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. And, alright, what about this Freedom Progress mission? What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Uh, what do you think we'll find? Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. All right, well, It's obvious bye. you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. The renegade for life. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Yeah, I didn't join. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Well, I'm technically more than an Alliance soldier, so... Tell me about your service. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Okay, well, is that when you joined Cerberus? Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Okay, well, what do you know about Freedom's Progress? Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Alright, well, at least you're honest about it. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Okay. Did anybody see the, um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla? We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Um, what are the odds of success? What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. 
Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. All right, uh, Shepherd's Authority, other colonies. Let's go with other colonies. What first. did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. All right, well, first priority is looking for survivors. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla really looks interesting. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Because what I'm what what I can tell is that it's gonna be during the Danish invasions of England. But it looks like England is already unified, so it's, it seems like it's gonna be the second Danish invasions of England. Strange. No bodies. No structural damage. And no signs of battle. Which, that's going to be interesting as hell. Oh, Jesus. More damn mess. We're disabled at the other colonies. Okay. Rerouting power. Wait, where are y'all shooting? There's another... Oh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Me, Shepard! Enemy down! There we go. Perfect! Max shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. So we're supposed to go forward-ish. I pass. Wait, wait. Right there. There we go. There we go. Make activity. Get over here. Where are we at? I've missed that. It locks on. Oh, oh shit. <clears throat> Quarians. Stop right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Yep, how you doing, Tally? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Why was he here? Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an over there exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. All right, well, let's work together then. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. 
Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. So what, like, I know they're, like, lightweight racist towards most aliens. I don't, I don't know what their feelings towards Quarians are, but, like, what's, what's the... Your people the really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. Shit. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Sounds like Make sure that. to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Oh my god. The camera's acting up. Oh my god. Can I... Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of him. Alright, so what if I did this? Can I... They've seen us. Alright, that fixed it. Somehow. <laughs> Alright, so... Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Excuse me. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Use overload on him. Aggressive. Yes. Chris, the shield that uh, soaks a huge am amounts of damage. Okay. I've got double shields on, let's go. Uh, nope, wrong, wrong menu. One left. There we go. Yeah. Alright, let's get some more meta gel. You can quit screaming there. Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. All right. Don't be racist, Miranda. Uh... There we go. That didn't do much. That didn't do much either. Oh, jeez. Target down. Here we go. Yeah. One left. Enemy down. Oh, yeah. Nari Shepard. Excellent. We're inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy net. It's tearing Prada squad apart. Uh oh. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Taking cover. Taking cover! Okay. All right, open them up when you're ready, Tally. Take point. Gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overlord will take out the um, Stop it. That was the only grenade I had. <laughs> Uh. No, no. Uh. Or 
Sorry, Miranda, get up. Ah. Or back away. <laughs> do whatever, whatever works for you. What the hell do I keep hitting? Right, let's check these rooms. You guys all right? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. All right. We can use this. Find Iridium. Let's check for loot in here. Wait, what? Okay. Bypass. Time to hack. Nope, it's that one. There we go. Anything else in here? Nope. Let's go talk to Vitor. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. You're safe. Calm down. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Uh, what do you know about the swarms? Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They, they find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. All right, anything about the collectors since everybody knows about them but me? I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they Maybe. were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Also maybe, but I, I would think it would be pretty hard to that for them to attack the migrant fleet. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Vitor. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. 
If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You can join back up with the Normandy. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. All right, well then Vitor goes with Tally. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Having friends pay off. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. And yet you don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why would they be interested in humans? Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. Yeah. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. <sighs> Why is the Omega-4 relay? relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector Vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. And what exactly aren't you telling me? Because you're obviously going to be hiding something. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Well, we just saw Tally, so what about her? What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vakari? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. And Liara? Where's Liara at Sasoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, okay. she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. 
I'm also a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. It's a beautiful goddamn ship. We'll have to give her a name. Soon we're gonna be briefed on the ship and then uh then we'll be free and open to uh roam around the galaxy. Dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Anyone else? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. <coughs> oh, 
<coughs> use galaxy map to pick destinations. Have right, a terminal, cool. Armory. Yep, tell me how to use an elevator like I don't know. <laughs> and the captain's quarters, okay. Acquire the professor to, to okay, for research. All right, assemble a team is our basically first objective. All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much for joining me on our adventure into the old but amazing game of Mass Effect 2. And uh, when we return tomorrow, we'll just keep on going with that. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button and all that goodness. And I will see you next time.